If you're here, that means that you are rendering out black frames. Um, I'm going to just show you why that happens. Um, the reason why it happened to me was because I was dragging this file from a Maya 2014 version all the way through this um, Maya 2016 student version, which is uh, Service Pack 5, I believe. Now, if you're working with uh, extension 2 of 2016, uh, this won't work for you. Why? Because this uh, problem only happens uh, if you have render layers and the extension 2 uh, no longer works with uh, your render layers right here as this one does. Um, so what my problem was um, that I couldn't change between uh, one or the other. You see I have the occlusion render layer and I have a depth render layer right here. And uh, whenever I could, some of the shading network disappeared, most of it actually. So let's see if I can right now. I'm going to go over to the occlusion and I'm going to hit 5 just to see what is going on. As, and as you can see, yeah, I get uh, green. Green means that there is absolutely no connection um, between an object and a shading network. That means that it is without any shader or texture, if you will. Um, so yeah, the solution, again, is quite simple. I will just type down fix render layer out adjustment errors and I semicolon, there we go, and I click enter. Now, it will take a while, just about 10-15 seconds at the most. Uh, that depends on the size of your scene, and whenever it's done, it will tell you that it's done right here. Um, so yeah, the reason why this is white and that is black is because that is the way that I have set it uh, for this uh, very specific scene of mine. Um, but I can change to another render layer to see what is going on. And there we go. This is the depth layer, so everything is supposed to be black as it is. Let me go just back here to my beauty or master layer, and we get everything correct. If I, let's say, I go to my Levity, Levity Default uh, viewport, and I click 6, uh, I should get things with shader. And if I do, that means that uh, I can render this. And that is perfect, that is correct. Uh, the reason why this is black is just because my computer can't handle uh, so much textures going on in this scene, but um, that is, you know, a minimal thing. Uh, so that is all that you have to do. Now you can go ahead and save and uh, click on batch render. Again, this problem will only happen if you actually do a batch render. So for example, if I uh, did a, a little render here in my render view, everything will be correct. But if I click on batch, uh, I will get those black frames. But now that I have uh, written down the script, everything will be fine. Um, sometimes things go missing. Let's say for example that this post, um, this lamp post here, uh, goes uh, green again. Then, you know, I only have to drag the um, shader for that thing specifically instead of going one by one uh, throughout every object in the scene which is you know a, a really big problem it takes a lot of time so you know one object out of the thousands that I have here uh, is not that bad um, but you can go ahead and write the script down as many times as you need in order for this to work and uh, well I hope that it does work for you it is a little bit like magic, let me tell you, it's so simple. And I do recommend that you write it down, that you take it with you in a little text file. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching.